Let us take a look at a program to add two numbers. We have already done the flowchart as well as developed the algorithm for this and the explanation of this particular program has also been done in the theory session. So I'm just going to give you a demo as to how this program can be typed, executed and tested. So first what I'm going to do is in order to be able to use C in and C out, I'm going to include the header file called as iostream.h. Then since I'm going to use a function to clear the screen, I am going to use the header file called as conio.h which stands for console.io.h and the first statement I am going to type is int main. Once I type int main, I have to decide how many variables I require. I am going to do an addition of two integer numbers. So I am going to say int a is my first number, b is my second number and sum is going to be the result of a plus b. I may have run previous programs so in order to delete or clean the screen I need to use a function called as clear screen. Okay I'll do a little bit of explanation once I finish the typing. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to ask the user okay enter two numbers all right I'm going to ask the user enter two numbers and this is the end of that statement. Then using C in, what I am going to do is I am going to read values into those two numbers A and B. Once I read the values, then my next step is going to be sum is assigned the value A plus B. Now finally when I calculate the sum, I can do a C out statement indicating that sum is sum is colon and then I can do something like this and I can say sum. Now I am using a function called as get ch so after the sum is displayed the output screen is held back because if I don't use the get ch then the output screen is not going to be held and you are not going to be able to see the output otherwise you have to use a different key to see the output. So let me go about trying to explain this particular program to you. First thing what I have done is I have included iostream.h because I am using the functions cout and cin. So iostream.h is a header file which contains the model, prototype or the blueprint of these particular functions. I am using clear screen because I am using the header file called as conio.h. You need to remember one thing, the Turbo C++ environment or compiler you are using is the non-standard version of C++. I will be showing you how to use the standard version of C++ which is available online as the name of the compiler is online GDB C++ compiler and I will show you how to write programs on the standard online GDB compiler. But since you are going to most of the colleges are going to implement their practicals on Turbo C++ I would be doing all my programs on Turbo C++ so that you end up being familiar with the problems and how to go about it. So once I declare all these variables, I ask the user to enter the two numbers, I read the numbers, I find the sum and here I display the sum. Now what I need to do is in order to compile, I can take this mouse here, you can see this red blinking thing which I am moving around here. Click on compile and you can click on build all, alright. So if there is some warning, it will tell you. Now let's see what it's trying to tell the warning. Don't ignore the warning because at times they can be a source of problem. Okay, why it's given me an error or a warning here is since I have said main is an integer or it's returning an int I need to type return 0. Now what I am redoing is I am doing a build all. Now you should see warnings all disappear. Since this is the early program I will also show you how to remove errors. If you get an error don't panic just say you, you forgot to put the semicolon here. So when you do the compile it's going to show you an error. So let's see what the error is saying. The error generally does not show on the line it is happening at times. Most of the times it correctly shows you where the error is happening but at times it does not show you where the error is happening. So it's showing the error on next line whereas actually there is no error on this line. I have forgotten to put a semicolon on this particular line. So in order to increase your understanding you should take a few programs try to remove the semicolon, remove this bracket, remove this angle braces, forget to put this plus forget to put this double quotes and see what happens and when you get the errors try to correct it. Do not be scared of these errors because this is a part of learning. 
Think of it, you're learning a cycle. You are going to fall down a few times before you learn to ride a cycle perfectly. Same here. So please make an effort to correct the errors. It's not a big deal. It's a part of learning. Even today when I type programs, I do make syntax errors, typing errors. It is just that experience makes you very calm and be able to correct those particular errors. Now once you have corrected the error, what I can do is I can select this run and click either by holding Ctrl and F9, the function F9 key, or I can press this run key. Now once I press this run key, you can see on the top of the screen, it is asking me to enter two numbers. Let me enter 40 and 50. These are the two numbers. If the program is correct, it should print the sum as 90. So it's showing sum as 90. The reason it's able to hold this particular screen is because I have used that get ch. So what get ch does is it waits or holds the output screen and allows me or waits for me to press any key. Generally, when you are asked by the computer to press any key, press the space key because it's the largest key and the most frequently used key. So once I press this key, I go back to this particular environment. So in this environment, you are able to see the complete program. So I hope with this, you are able to get an idea about how to write a simple program to read into numbers and find their sum. Do not skip on writing even simple programs because that is how you are going to end up learning, programming and turning out to be a good developer.